Hey guys, in this video I'll be doing a quick setup and configuration of the Smart ThinQ app. So I've already installed it on my phone. So let me go ahead and open the app. So I've already registered and signed in to my account. So currently it says uh, no product uh, is registered. So let me go ahead and add this uh, washing machine. So it is giving me a set of instructions before I start the configuration. So I'll click OK. So I will select this as a front load washing machine. And it is asking me a question if it has a smart ThinQ logo and I'll click yes. It is asking me if there is a dial on the washer. Yes. Does it have an LED time display? Yes. So now it's asking me to press and hold the Wi-Fi button for three seconds on the touch panel and the Wi-Fi LED will blink during this process. So here's the Wi-Fi button and I'll keep it pressed. And you can see that the Wi-Fi button is blinking here. So now it's asking me to select the Wi-Fi network and the password. So I'll just go ahead and enter it. So now it's registering the product. And now the washing machine is added to our account. And you can see that the Wi-Fi LED is on here. So this washing machine is now connected to the router. It's now showing the status of the washer and it's telling that it's in standby mode. And it also shows some useful information such as the weather, humidity from AccuWeather. So I'll click on the washer now. And uh, there are a couple of uh, cycles that are being shown here. And these will be active only if I select the remote start button on the washing machine. So let me go ahead and do that. Uh, it's asking me to turn on the remote start here. So here's the remote start button. I'll go ahead and press that. So I've activated the remote start feature and it's giving me an alert saying that it's ready to accept uh, commands from the app. So let me go ahead and click this and it's showing me the cycles of wash and currently the cotton cycle is selected. In case if I wish to change the wash cycle, I'll go here to the option and uh, I can select one of these options. So let me go ahead and select uh, mix. So I can start this uh, cycle if I wish to start it, but I'll go back and show you some options of uh, download cycle. So I'll click on view all here. And uh, these are the uh, additional cycles that can be downloaded from the internet. So there is a one hour wash cycle which I prefer and it completes within one hour duration. And in case if you wish to have only the rinse and spin option, you can just click that and it gets downloaded into this washer. So let me go ahead and click this option. Download to washer. So you can have only one download option on the washer at any point of time. So this will overwrite my previous downloaded cycle that is the one hour wash cycle. I'll click OK. And it's currently downloading it. So it's asking me if I need to use this uh, option now. I'll click OK. So the wash program has started now on the machine and you can see that it is indicating an estimated time of 20 minutes for rinse and spin cycle. So if I click this, it is showing what all it does during this uh, process. So I'll just pause this for now. I can resume it whenever I want. So I'll just go back and show you some other options now. So there are some notification options here. 
wherein as soon as the uh, washer completes the cycle you will get a notification on your smartphone that this, the wash program is completed and it shows product details it shows all the products of LG that are added to your account currently I have just the washer and I can give it a nickname if I wish to give and it shows the network information to which this product is connected if I want I can delete this product from my account and choose some information on the app for example I can select the location and also it shows the software version some of the open source uh, softwares that are used in this app and we also have a smart diagnosis uh, option here so this is used to basically diagnose any problem or error code in case if it shows up on this uh, display I have not tried this anytime so I am not sure how to uh, show this uh, options to you because I don't have any error code on this machine so I'll go back and there is something on the customer support here and it just opens the LG website uh, support page if I click on that and inside the washer and for this machine there are a couple of options that are available um, in case if you want to clean the tub you've got to select this option so we'll go back there is an energy monitoring option wherein it shows uh, all the cycles that are completed uh, in that month and the recent past so currently i have um, deleted the product so i don't have anything showing here so I guess that's all are the options on this app and I find the notification uh, option very useful for me uh, because I get notified whenever the wash cycle is completed and I come back and um, take out the clothes for dry. Other than that I don't use the remote start option because I start it manually on the machine. So that's all I had to show on this app so I hope this uh, uh, video was useful to you guys. Please do hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Thanks for watching and have a great day.